There could be nine to ten new start times for JCPS with school beginning anywhere from 740 to 940. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff sat down with Superintendent Marty Polio today to discuss the changes. He joins us now with more. Hey, Mark. Hey, Rick, Vicki, Superintendent Polio is going to have to sell this plan to parents. So we asked him about some of the concerns that we've recently heard about. Originally, it was around getting our, you know, adolescent students more sleep, more rest so they can be healthier. Dr. Marty Polio and says he first publicly talked about changing school start times back in his 2019 State of the District address. But then with the busing crisis, it became even more of an urgent issue to get it done. Now he's moving forward, saying the plan will consolidate 732 bus routes into as few as 600. That will help solve the bus driver shortage. But some parents are concerned the new schedule, combined with sports and extracurricular activities, will have their children coming home too late. Really what it will come down to is we will have kids that spend less time uh, from the end of school until the start of games. So most of our games and athletics start at 6 and 7.30. And so there's plenty of time when you have, you know, the, the latest we look at element, or excuse me, our, our high schools finishing would be 3.20 in the afternoon. Other parents worry the new schedule will complicate child care. We can build in the supports around daycare, CEP, those things that can help families that may be making a change. Um, and we work through our transfer process for families that may need to make a change as a result. As it is now, many students are not getting to school or coming home on time due to busing issues. Data from JCPS shows 23 bus routes were running late this week, with some delayed more than three hours. Polio says the new start times are essential to fixing the problem. This is something that has happened in nearly every district in the United States except for JCPS. And it's really time we make that change. We really have a choice here. Um, we can delay it. We can continue to do what we're doing right now with two start times. And we will be having the same issues next year that we have this year. Now, we also have more new information about the rollout. Polio expects to unveil specifics of the plan in two to three weeks, with public forums beginning in mid to late February. And he hopes the Jefferson County Board of Education will vote on the plan sometime in March. These new start times would be for next school year. Mark Vandroff, WLKY News.